It is time now to take a look at stories making headlines on Nigerian newspapers. All right, we'll begin with uh, this Nigeria newspaper. Uh, it says, APC PDP running mates in Broglio, uh, the endless crisis, pro wiki group mates in Abuja may give conditions for resolution of on pass. All right, you find the details when you look through this Nigeria newspaper uh, this morning. All right, so we move now to this day newspaper, still looking at the uh, same matter. Atiku, walk of Nigeria's next president already caught out. It's uniting the people. Walk, Atiku, walk of Nigeria's next president already caught out. It's uniting the people. Atiku speaking there. To the Abuja Inquirer, terror attacks, tension remains high in Abuja. Terror attacks, tension remains high in Abuja. Vigilante services up, night businesses suffer, FCT, neighboring states team up. All right, you find details of uh, the story on the pages of the Abuja Inquirer. To the blueprint, now still talking Security. Four informants behind Abuja terror attacks arrested suspects under interrogation. Over 70 criminals, including Kujé escapees, killed. Kogi Monarch arrested, suspended for security breach. Local government chair queried. We move to the first news newspaper now. Terrorists intensifying plan to attack Lagos or your Ugun. Yanni Adams cries out. Terror terrorists intensifying plan to attack Lagos or your Ogun Gani Adams cries out. You find the details on the pages of the first news newspaper. To the nation now, planned attack, security on the alert in Lagos, in Ugu. Bandits now in Ogun Oshun forests. Fleeing terrorists regrouping in Nasarawa, says Suli. You find the details on the pages of the nation newspaper and to the leadership now still talking uh, insecurity alleged security threat police place area commanders dpos on red alert in lagos over to you kim right i have here with me first of daily sun and it's also uh, reflecting on the state of insecurity in nigeria this time saying that ministers, senators, reps avoid states, seek refuge in Abuja. Daily Sun there. Now to the punch, where it's uh, talking about the closure of the uh, continuous voter registration exercise. Stranded applicants are said to be lamenting, seeking extension, but ad uh, I make, uh, ad adamant thousands miss registration in Enugu, Ogo, Plateau. Blame officials of these and more on the punch. Now to Nigeria News Direct. Now it's talking about uh, the state of the economy, CBN's assurances, mixed reactions, trail rise in Naira against the dollar. EDC operators advocate floating of Naira, Nigerian economy suffering lack of productive activities. That's according to an economic analyst uh, and uh, FG must fix structural money policy issues. Uh, still more analysis there by economic uh, appraisers on the state of the nation. That's on Nigerian News Direct. Now to The Guardian. The Guardian is uh, spotlighting the aviation industry. Local aviation risks collapse as only 38 of the 90 airplanes are active, it says. Airpiece, Arik, Asman operate at 38.8% percent fleet capacity and finally with me is the national economy still uh, looking at the aviation sector lack of 24-hour operation at airports costs nigeria 4.3 billion naira annually that's according to experts and um, there'll be more uh, when you read the national economy for this all right, now we move to the front page of the Daily Trust. It says, despite global disruptions, Nigerian stock market rakes in 831 billion naira in six months. That's quite encouraging. All right, to the Business AM, analyst pushes calling peg to manage Nigeria's uh, exchange rate. The Business AM says, analyst pushes calling peg to manage Nigeria's exchange rate. You find details of that story on the pages of the business AM.
But let's look at uh, the story that is on uh, some um, of the papers, uh, on the front page of some papers this morning, talk up, talking about the security situation. Recall that last week, there was a memo that leaked and uh, that talked about uh, plans to attack uh, some states, the Federal Capital Territory and also some states across the country. Although that memo was debunked by the NSCDC, mm -hmm. right, saying that it didn't come from them, but then again, it leaked. And now we are seeing reactions with regards to that, this palpable tension in the Federal Capital mm -hmm. Territory. Mm -hmm. States are teaming up to ensure that they can secure their states. And we saw, if you look at the front page of uh, the Abuja Inquirer this morning, it says that uh, Vigilante services up, night businesses suffer, neighboring states are teaming up. And, you know, you see that uh, the command uh, in states, the DPO is saying, you know, get together, be on red alert. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what you make of, you know, this attempt to ensure that uh, we ensure that Nigerians are secure. This attempt to ensure that Nigeria are kept safe despite, you know, this intelligence report. Well, it's one thing to get intelligence reports, it's another thing to react intelligently. Right. And the real thing now is is that <clears throat> is that we have made this point over and over and over again that it is not about reacting to all of these threats. Mm. It's about going to where they are. There was one long report written on Newsline about one um, uh, an American who visited uh, some of the terror lords in, um, in um, what do you call it, in Zamfara. And then we saw the, the one last week, too, about the visit to uh, Zamfara by the BBC folk. And uh, all we know is that, is that we have no point dealing with intelligence alerts because we know where they are. Go there and flush them out. One of them came and was turbaned. He gained legitimacy, legitimacy just because the people were bonding. They were bonding with their, what do they call it? They were bonding with their oppressor. If you bond with your oppressor, then you have already accepted it as fait accompli. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is, in a sense, bonding with the oppressor. It is hard to say, it is hard to say that one way or the other, we don't have official sympathy with these bandits. It is hard to say because, because we know where they are. We're doing nothing about it. We are waiting, Nigerians we are, are talking, wondering why no, we are not no, doing something it's, it's just about like, that. It's just like you know that uh, a dog is there at the corner. Uh, they went in back to say, ah, maybe he's coming. Over. <laughs> but you know he's there. But, Why don't you lock, but, but lock that's the, the question. <laughs> Why are we not doing something about it? We know where they are. Why are we not taking steps? Like he rightly pointed, one was recently top end. Mm. And we expected to see maybe some arrest or something because he's one of those who has been seen as, you know, a major stakeholder in all of these activities. But nothing was done. And then he promised, he promised he was going to ensure that the community or residents of the community are, are safe. safe. There were even reports now, even though the government of the state now went on to suspend the, the MI in question, the government officials were there, security operatives were said to be there. But what even makes the case, our case as Nigerians, a bit more despondent is that even our leaders themselves, now we see that Abuja, Unfortunately, now residents are living in fear. Over the weekend, we had that people, some people were at an eatery, and then these guys just came, robbed them, took some of their cars, phones were stolen, all at gunpoint, right there in Abuja. And you know, one wonders, has it come to this? The other day, we had a guest, an analyst, saying that even the lawmakers have resorted to driving in car hire vehicles. They've gone on research. E-hailing e vehicles. They would rather not go with their regular convoys. Mm -hmm. They would rather not go with their cars because, of course, they are branded. Mm -hmm. So they will go with, they'll go with them, you know, unmarked vehicles to show you how heightened insecurity has been all, all over the land. Well, but across the country, down south, regardless of the warning that um, Lagos State Security officials said they received their reports now that they have expressed readiness to combat any 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 opposition or any influx of criminals so well we hope that the remaining days now the buhari administration can somewhat finish well 
regardless of, of, of this gloomy outlook that we yeah, see speaking now. Speaking of, of, of the president, we saw he had a meeting with uh, the, the service chief right, last week, last right, week right. after the Senate had threatened that he had to do something within six weeks or they were going to impeach him. And, you know, Nigerians say they are tired mm. of these meetings and because at the end of the day, the NSA came out to say that these, uh, the service chief had promised to, you know, change tactics mm. and, you know, up the again. Mm. But this is the same message we keep hearing yeah, okay, and we well, well, over okay, again. Well, right. I, I, can we count how many security meetings that Buhari has, uh, mm -hmm. has uh, convoked? Mm -hmm. We can't count them. And they all look like emergency, like, oh, something is going to come out of this meeting today. This and man is really, really, really. The criminals end up getting he's more going daring. to shout at all of the security <laughs> chiefs. And they are going to leave and his presence with, with Dogo Gide mm -hmm. in the next 24 hours. Not, they, get, remember, they get more daring. Remember in the case, I don't know who was this small that time. Right, yes. In the case of uh, Babankita and... Uh, and in me and all of that. Mm, yes. He just said, Inspector General, where is Anini? It was, he had that maniacal smile on his face. Mm -hmm. Before long, he got to Sumbo, got Anini, and they were executed. And they were executed. Yes. We, 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 we that knew is, we heard Anini, that is, Anini was... That is the sense of urgency. Anini was a terror, that we don't even have. in my I'm childhood. Sure, I'm sure he just goes there, the president just goes there and says, well, you guys should do the right thing. I don't want to see this again. And everybody, they say the man will say the same thing he said yesterday. Right. The one he said, it's right. just like, uh, it's just like uh, this play waiting for Godo, where they keep waiting for the same thing to happen. And the same thing, they never get where they are going to. But there's always an, an anxiety of activity that leads to nowhere. And it was so, a terror, even even then. Those were the days when firing squads of course. Were, were the other of the day yes. at the bar beach. Mm -hmm. uh, at the bar beach. <laughs> Unlike now that many governors are hesitant to sign yeah. to sign the execution mm -hmm. warrants. They would mm -hmm. rather leave them leave them in the jails. And all these have also accounted for how we have, you know, congested um, you know, the prisons. Jail. What do they want to do with these people? Are they mm -hmm. hoping they, they, they repent or otherwise? Now that narrative is now coming out louder. Are we better off with them? in the execution cells and they never have their day even mm. though the judge has already said execute them because their, their cases have been found to be they've been found to be guilty we have we so, have sponsors that have been mentioned they said 400 sponsors we don't know one name mm. we have so many of them that have not been tried we just have a situation where where there is a sense of languor mm. there's no sense of of you know urgency no sense of Dread, no, no, no atmosphere of sympathy. It was not just the terrorists that we know that we are talking about. What of what's happening in the southeast? There was a report that Chima Amanda's uh, sister was slaughtered in, in the house. The report yeah. says she ended up refuting it that it wasn't her relative. Okay, it, really. She, but yeah. even at that, it, yeah, it, it's that still something happened that someone something was happened to uh, death. Yes, yes. It, it's still appalling. It is. It is. And you know that is where Nigerians are asking questions. If we are not getting that sense of urgency, and they are defenseless, mm. who do they run to? How do we move from here? Mm. Something has to be done. As Shakespeare said, he said that when correction lies in the hand that committed wrong, to whom shall we complain? Mm. Yeah, we are a nation who, who we always believe that everything we have to do, we have to call God. And God will say to you people, I give you everything you want to, you have to take care of yourself. Stop disturbing me. Mm -hmm. I mean, do take care of, take of, take care of business. Mm -hmm. We are not taking care of business. Mm -hmm. We just, uh, I just say, uh, what a boy like they call, sit down, look. Right. And, and while we are agonizing about all this and calling for more action, there we have, you know, one of our own also being brutally killed in, in Italy. As in, we just yes, watched we the, just horrendous, watched that. That the, yes. the, the horrendous video right there in broad daylight. But then they say charity begins at home. Right. If you haven't taken care of your home, how would... Uh, they are looking at why what did is they going even, on. Why did many people even travel in the first yes, place? Was to they are get seeing the what is life. going on within. Yeah. And so they may not place as uh, much value. That does not excuse at all. what happened there all. was savage. Not at it's, all. It's bad. White not man's at all. barbarism. Right. You know, just in, in open display. Mm. And I wonder why there was nobody. This was not a car. No one. There no was one. nobody. So just to push him no away. No, so just no push help. him away. No, no, so no help that. at all. No help at all. That man, that man ought to face international pressure. The government ought to face international pressure. And Nigeria better. If we cannot do so, 
here. We cannot do so abroad. He didn't even appear like he wanted are to you, hide his are, identity. Are you certain because, that we we'll see that pressure still be mounted by the government? I think, I, think, I think we don't even need the government to mount this pressure. Mm -hmm. I think the Nigerian media can mount this pressure. Right. Right. I think the civil society groups can mount this mm -hmm. pressure. We don't need the government to mount this pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's also quickly move now to another uh, you know, uh, story that has been you know, on within the weekend, uh, talking about a particular man that has been making news headlines yeah, <laughs> yeah. in recent times, talking about the person of Governor Wiki. Mm. You know, he came in on Friday and he was speaking with the press and he said that uh, uh, the former vice president in person of uh, Atiku had made some statements that were not true. Mm -hmm. in his interview. And so he met, he, that is the person of Wiki now, now met with uh, some of his persons behind closed doors. So, you know, some of the details are not, were not made public. Absolutely. But then again, we are hoping to see details because it seems that the negotiations will be going on right now. Uh, Wiki, but then there are those who have said that um, Wiki should not be holding the party ransom. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, yes, he, made a, he might have done a lot for the party, but he's, it's not just about him. Mm. He should learn lessons from his uh, former, uh, 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 the former governor. governor. Right, yes, right. Uh, talking about, um, I can't remember. His predecessor. Uh, his predecessor, predecessor yes. Amechi. Ro Rotimi Amechi. Rotimi Amechi, there's another person. Odili. Odili, Odili, Odili yes. yes. Peter Odili. 2017 yes. right. election. Right. He should learn from them. Right. And move on. Even in the APC, learn from the vice president. <laughs> and move Shifadio. on. That right. even uh, during the Osho elections, he didn't mention anything. Mm. But then, at the end of the day, it ended in prison. Mm. Like they would say, mm. but then let's get here. Well, mm -hmm. well, the issue of uh, Wiki is very interesting. When uh, I heard that, oh, Wiki was uh, going to arrive uh, back in town, uh, but I was coming back in town. I said, Oh, it is Gogu, <laughs> uh, that Gogu, we must hear something yeah. today. He yeah. always comes, he so always I was comes always, with I was, I was always uh, <laughs> trying to get a what did Wiki say? What did Wiki say? I want to know what he said. Mm. Well, he said that the man. Uh, Came out with a pack of lies and mm. he even attacked uh, Babangita Liu and a mm. few others mm. and uh, so on. Well, I begin by saying that that even Atiku in this interview was naive. Mm. If you want peace with your with Wiki, you should have found a way to navigate your way out of making any statement about Wiki. But he went there and said that uh, he chose the person that could deliver. In other words. The others. The man, the <laughs> wicked cannot deliver. deliver. <laughs> eh, deliver. Wicked cannot deliver. But I then mean, you still went on to commend him that ah, Wiki, Wiki is good, Wiki mm -hmm. is tenacious. But then I chose the But if you want tenacious itself, you can read it in other ways. You can read tenacious in other ways. You say this is a troublesome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that's, that is that that is that was that was that was one point. Mm. The other point is that is that Wiki's a circle within the party is intact. Mm -hmm. Those people who met as the wicked crowd, that who met wicked, the wicked crowd. Is it a meeting of strategy of resistance of demand, talking or a meeting right. of a strategy of collaboration? We even saw former mm -hmm. governors there. I think I think I spotted Mark Donald Duke. Yes. Donald Duke. These are all these people are uh, uh, wicked people. For Back in day or well, Trump, if you look at the papers this people. morning, they talked about <laughs> that uh, there will be conditions for resolution exactly. of the impasse, but we don't know what those conditions so, exactly. are. So we we'll wait would, to see what they would, be, would reveal. But we need to wrap up. But there's no, there, you can be sure that there's no, um, there's no, there's no way there could be peace as usual, no matter how they do it, because you know somebody has already soiled the pool. Mm. And there's no way unless you drain the hope. All right. <laughs> Let's see what happens in coming days. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right, now.